Good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Uh, today is Tuesday, and it's build date 184. Yes, build date 184 in the construction schedule out at Villa Feliz. And uh, today, I don't know if you can tell, but there is something very weird in the sky. You see up there? Very strange object. Good morning, sir. Good morning. The sun is up today. The sun is up. So I'm happy. The sun is up. It doesn't mean much around here because it can be gone in about two minutes. Ah, good morning. Good morning. It could be gone in just a few minutes, but it's up right now. And that's promising. Although there are a lot of other clouds and all up there. I want to remain optimistic. Uh, so hopefully I get on the site today and the roofing crew is there, which I doubt is going to happen. Uh, the, the digger is going to be there, which I doubt going to happen first thing this morning. <laughs> and uh, we actually have some construction going on, and my, uh, which I, that will happen. I can almost promise you that. Good morning! What you got? Oh! Oh! <gasps> Candy, candy, do I have any candy? I don't know if I have any candy yeah, today. I don't know, I have to look. I don't know what I have. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see, do I have something this morning? Oh, there's one, one, and two. There you go. That's all I have, you wanna swap? I don't know. No, you don't want it? No. no. That's all I got. That's all I got in my bag. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's all I got. You see? Yeah, that's all I got. All I got is bags inside there. You can reach all you want to, but the magic rabbit is not going to come out of there. It's just bags. Nope. You want this? You want lollipop? Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Man, <laughs> they're getting really picky. I think I gotta get something other than lollipops. <laughs> Anyway, I want to start out this morning with a couple of shout outs. And the first shout out goes to Edwin and Lorna Donis. Uh, they're celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary uh, tomorrow, which is going to be the 27th, uh, which might be the 27th when you receive this video. It depends on if I get it uploaded tonight on time or not. So anyway, I want to wish a happy anniversary to the two of you. And I also want to do a shout out this morning to my brother-in-law, June Horalis. Uh, one of the last survivors that migrated away from the Philippines to Canada up in Alberta. He's up at Fort McMurray uh, where they had that really bad fire. What was it? It was about last May, uh, May of 2016. And uh, they evacuated like a million plus people out of there and nobody got hurt from that. So, and, and he was very lucky. His house did not get affected uh, by, the, uh, by that massive wildfire they had there. Well, anyway, my brother-in-law, he works for the, uh, the electric uh, utilities, uh, the, the company up there that provides all the services to the people uh, up in that part of Canada. And I want to uh, just say hi to him and thank him and his dear sweet wife, Aimee, for watching uh, My PI Dream on a regular basis. And here's a picture of him <laughs> inside his office. I imagine it's his office or it's in his basement uh, watching one of the episodes.
So anyway, everybody is engaged this morning. The, the roofers are here now. Uh, they're up uh, doing their work. Uh, they're welding up on the roof right now. Uh, the basement, I asked my builder to do a shift of, uh, of uh, team members for the basement tiles. And the way I explained it to him was the fact that uh, the, the worker that was doing it that made the mistakes, uh, he's a good worker. He's a very good worker. He's very meticulous, uh, but we're, we're on a time crunch. Uh, and even though he's very meticulous, the, the floor tiling is not his specialty. Uh, he doesn't, uh, you got to realize that when you do things that's going to have a lot of pressure on there's a big difference between having a vehicle going over tiles and a person pedestrian traffic that's going to be walking over tiles uh, no matter whether it's vehicles or pedestrian no matter how much weight if the tile isn't put in properly uh, then that's a bad thing so it can crack under people's weight it can crack under vehicle weight but it's going to crack easier on under vehicle weight and you notice when you go into any like a showroom or a parking lot or anything uh, that has uh, like a car dealership and they're all tile it's all tile inside there well none of those tiles are cracked because it was the placement was done properly the technique was done properly and uh, the technique is you put the dry mix and uh, you make sure that it is level you have no air pockets in the dry mix then you put the leveling adhesive the, the well it's, it's the uh the tile adhesive and you put the appropriate amount not not a very thin you put enough so that when you do your tapping it spreads evenly and it fills up all the voids which was not being done yesterday so uh what i asked my builder to do was take the old uh tile layer and bring him in that do a swap of, of rolls inside there maybe put the other guy out on side the fence and bring the old tile layer back in because he was doing it appropriately and uh, correctly so that when the vehicle does go over we're not going to have any issues with braking uh, so he, he agreed that, that that needed to be done and I also talked with him about oversight today um, the, the, or the, the lack of oversight and I, I asked him politely if he would not mind spending a little bit more time uh, doing spot checks and doing quality assurance so that some of the things that we had gone wrong uh, could be avoided in the early stages and uh, he, 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 he said he's gonna do that as well. And between him doing that and me doing it, uh, he knows my concern right now. Uh, I think the amount of errors uh, for the rest of the uh, build uh, will be minimized. But these are things that you need to talk with your builder. And of course you have to talk, with, you have to talk diplomatically because uh, that's the best way to get things done. Uh, you can't let emotion get involved and things like that. And I think a lot of times, uh, People allow the emotions to get inside there, and that, and that causes friction, and that causes even more problem. So, uh, talking with your builder uh, the right way and um, identifying all these things will help mitigate any problems in the future. At least uh, that's my belief, and I believe we're going to have a successful build using that strategy. So, anyway, I feel good that things are going to get done here correctly today. So, I need to run into town, do a little bit of grocery shopping. And I need to get some more work slippers. Uh, I need to go, they're broken, so I need to get new, uh, new Crocs or Oakley or, or whatever, a uh, pair of slippers so I can roam freely without using my, these are my, my good shoes right here. And I don't want to use my good shoes doing all my work around the site. So I feel confident that uh, work is going to be done properly today, which will give me an opportunity to do some shopping. Uh, so I'm going to hang around here just a little bit longer. Uh, I am not going to set up the Bahe Kubo office because I want to get into town and get a few things. Uh, feed the dogs. Speaking of the dogs. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing this morning, huh? <laughs> you enjoying the shade of the Bahe Kubo, huh? You're covered with mahogany shavings. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're, you're waiting on breakfast. <laughs> so let me get the... Let me get the uh, dogs fed and then uh, we'll roam into uh, town for just a little bit and we'll be back out to the job site later on. I, I, I gotta get a picture of your shirt. <laughs> Why? Right, did you go to Georgia? 
<laughs> my, my son-in-law went to uh, to Georgia, to <laughs> University of Georgia. He, he's gonna he's gonna love that shirt. <laughs> so anyway, you see the the thin piece of steel that they're using that that's connecting to the seat purlins on the top. Uh, that little piece of steel. That's what they're going to use to connect the, the valleys and the ridges, the hardware for the valley and the ridges. They're going to connect it to that. Uh, if I get an opportunity, I'll try to get up on the roof and show you those. Uh, I, I, I don't know the technical name for, for that piece of steel. I even asked my bill, I said, what's the technical name for that thin piece of steel that's connected to the top of the sea pearls? And he says, I don't think there is a technical term, but I'm sure there is. The technical term is going to be the small piece of steel that connects to the valley and the ridges. <laughs> but that's what they're doing up there right now. We'll try to get up there later on and get a close-up of uh, that uh, detail. All right, well, let's run into town real quick, take care of some business, and get back out to the job site. utility bill I forgot it was in my backpack it's for my water at the apartment so I'm gonna take care of that first and then the crock shop is right on the other side of that Ferris wheel over there uh, we'll go look at some shoes and then we'll do the rest of the shopping that needs to be done today all right so that's all taken care of I noticed if you go there first thing in the morning when they first look, there's first thing in the morning there's no waiting line but if you wait until around lunchtime, it could take you up to like 30 minutes sometimes. Anyway, like I said, right across is the croc shop. So let's go get some shoes. No, bad news. The shoes I always buy, uh, they're not going to stock it anymore at this store. Uh, but they still have it at Santa Rosa. So he's going to give me the address for the Santa Rosa uh, store. I can't believe they're not going to have those. It's, it's the sandals, the slippers that's like the ones that are like these but with leather. No! So since they don't have that, we're going to see if we can find a, a suitable substitute uh, somewhere else inside the mall. I was considering the one at Oakley also, but they don't have my size. The small, you, you would think they would have lots of small sizes, but the uh, sizes, they're all like giant sizes. Uh, and that's probably why they still have them in stock. I don't know, maybe it's the end of the season. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll continue looking. Toby Sports came through. This is a stopgap to get me through until I can get the one I really want, which are the Crocs. So uh, let's continue. I, there's a couple other things I need to get today, and one of them is I need to get some extension hoses for my washing machine because I can't reach the sink and I can't reach where the uh, the water goes out inside the uh, CR. So I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, extensions over here at Ace Hardware.
as always, that was a great meal. I, I love the baby back ribs they have in uh, Christine's. So anyway, uh, let's go do some grocery shopping.
right, so that's everything I needed to do at the mall today. Uh, let's drop off the groceries at the house and back to the job site. It's one o'clock, uh, so uh, they're just getting started for the afternoon uh, half of the day. Let's get out of here. All right, so as you can see, we are back again to working on the grill. So we, we just pulled the grill out. We did our own measurements. They have the granite over there. They're gonna cut the width, uh, which is kind of like the length, not the depth, the length of the, of the granite. And then uh, they're going to do the cutout for the grill. And then we have to do a correction. The, uh, the, the worker uh, can be, he, he moved it when he did the cutout for the, uh, for the sink. Um, I, I wanted a little bit further out. It was a little bit too far back because when you put the faucet in there, the faucet's gonna be right on the sink. And I wanna have a proportional amounts of area. And I want the sink to be centered with the grill and it was centered with the, uh, the slab. At the back of the slab, uh, we have to do some fill in because we only have, I think it's 23 inches, 60 centimeters. We have 60 centimeters to work with the, the, the depth of the granite. And the concrete that's on here now with the backsplash and all, we, we, we have a big gap inside it. So we're gonna fill that in and that's what we're gonna use for backsplash. And the front, the, the bull nose on the front of the granite will match up with the bull nose on the grill. So it all should look good. But the placement of the sink, I, I wasn't here uh, to tell them exactly where I wanted. I was in town shopping. So while I was away, they decided where the sink was gonna go and it's not where I thought it was, should be. So uh, we, we, we're gonna make that correction and then we'll do the cutout inside the granite for both the grill portion and the sink and then we'll start doing the install of that. Once the, once the granite is done, uh, the, the other things we have to do, we have to put the granite on the top, we have to build those for the top. And then we have to build the front where the doors are, the two stainless steel doors. And we got to do, there's, there's several things that we're several days away from getting the grill operational. But at least we're moving forward on it today. So as you can see, we don't have a driveway. There's no heavy equipment here and we don't have a driveway. Uh, my builder said he put the order in with the, the heavy equipment operator and they were supposed to come out today to do a measurement. I don't know if they did. Uh, I wasn't here for a few hours. So maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I'm not, I'm not sure. But he told me they're supposed to be out tomorrow. We'll see on that. And uh, they should commence to working on that. Also, um, tom tomorrow is supposed to be, I asked him to do site cleanup. We'll see if that happens tomorrow also. Anyway, let's, let's walk upstairs for a minute because I think they put the arch in for the, between the hallway and the master bedroom. I want to take a look at that. Oh no, we don't have stairs. Arch. 
I see I see wet concrete, so I imagine it's all poured. Yeah, it's all poured. So we'll see that in a uh, couple days. There'll be an arch there. Well, it is again the end of another day. So let's uh, let's do a wrap up uh, and take a look at the things I got done today. We're gonna go. We're gonna start from the basement because it's starting to get a little dark out here. Some of the clouds are starting to get over, and it's gonna get darker and darker down there. So we did not quite complete the the tiling job down in the basement. Uh, we're still a few tiles away. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> but we will take a look and see. Oh, they're blocking me off. What is going on here? You can't block me off from them. Anyway, um, <laughs> they don't want anybody to walk on any of the tiles. That's why, why they have this over here. So anyway, we have all but is one small little corner tile that goes in front of the, uh, the pump room. One small tile in front of the CR. One tiny, and these are little angle tiles. One right in the corner on the left-hand side of the uh, stairway there. So other than that, we have all of those are set and we'll check those tomorrow we'll tap them tomorrow after it cures a bit and and see i i trust that uh everything's okay uh but we, we we still have to check anyway also on the first floor we started working back on the uh the grill section right here so t tomorrow uh so we had since we had to cut this out and move it a little bit forward we have a gap back here so i asked the builder to uh, make a bracket that goes inside here uh we'll run we'll run a a level across the top and we'll make sure this is up here and the reason for this right here is so that uh we have equal uh, uh equal amount of, of pressure uh from the bottom of the 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 sink the stainless steel sink when it goes on there got to realize though this is all going to have a coat of adhesive on there uh, but this will give additional support for that adhesive as well so the sink can't push down and we have a little gap inside here uh, and then of course you know you put uh, it's like a caulking a transparent caulking that goes inside there and that acts like a seal also so between that and the the caulking and everything like that i think we'll be fine with that of course you saw all day long uh the the roofing team was up there the roofing uh, and they haven't stopped all day long i noticed they did a lot of the that small steel that goes in between the uh, the valleys and the ridges inside here. So they were working on a lot of that today. Uh, the fencing in the back, they were working on the fencing on that side and they were working on the fencing on this side. Uh, look how much of the fencing went up. I told you how quick fencing goes up around here, the concrete hollow box. So we almost have another whole wall. We're up to the last column that they poured up there, the last fence post and they are working on that last one they haven't put all the concrete hollow blocks on as well you saw that they were doing uh skim coat all over the place today good afternoon oh somebody here okay so and also one, one of the things that we did was the uh inside the generator room we have the support inside the generator room uh that we built the platform inside there so that is curing right now as well So anyway, uh, this is the heavy equipment operator. He came by to do a site visit, which hopefully tomorrow, which means tomorrow, uh, hopefully he'll be out here to dig some of the soil. Uh, so we're doing the coordination with him right now. So it's 5.30 now. I just spent a half hour talking with the, uh, the excavator, the heavy equipment operator. His name is Marlon and a wonderful guy. And uh, we talked about the things that we always talk about when I talk with, with uh, a Filipino, we talk about the Filipino values and the differences between different cultures around the world. And uh, it was a very charming conversation I had with him. Well, anyway, he is coming tomorrow morning and he's gonna start digging the, uh, the, the basement area here, uh, the driveway going into the basement. We are also going to be using him to do the clearing out of all the uh, the, the the soil in the backyard as well. Uh, I said, "Well, how long is that going to take?" And he's, he's like, "One week, two weeks, maybe three weeks." So I'm like, oh, "What do you mean, one week, two weeks, or three weeks? <laughs> Can't we be a little more definitive?" No, I, I didn't say that to him. But anyway, uh, he's going to be the guy that's going to be doing uh, clearing out all this, and so we should see very soon. We should start dropping down to real great level back here even though we'll save some of the soil for doing the backfill around the garage uh, we'll play it by ear so so that's a positive note right there uh, that connection today so again we had some uh, we had some progress today uh, again fencing uh, some of the tiles in the basement uh, grill getting started 
and roofing that was the main thing roofing i don't i still don't know how many more days i'm still hoping for next monday or tuesday for towels we'll see uh roofing tiles well let me close for today so if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up please share and if you have not subscribed click on that little my pi dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so until tomorrow which is going to be wednesday which is going to be i don't know what episode it's going to be <laughs> So anyway, until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day.